I made most of the show during the lockdown in New York. It's like we've migrated into a new remote space located somewhere in between our bodies and the world. And putting on a mask every day, I got to thinking about how we hide behind all the profiles, text messages, and these dreadful Zoom chats we endure. It's almost like we're navigating a simulation of a life we once lived from a distance. My show Shifted Sims starts from this question of how can painting depict this new weird, once removed existence we're living. The imagery in this new series of paintings is sourced from screenshots from The Sims 4. It's a life simulation game in which players build an avatar body. It's sort of a hollow shell that they construct from the ground up and perform their life through. We spend so much time now communing with other ominous profile icons, and honestly, we have no idea who's behind them half the time. The shifty nature of these empty containers allows for fantasy experiences, but at the same time enables shaming, trolling, and other forms of licentious behavior. Painting a figure that's controlled by another person presents many interesting challenges. I think anyone that is making a painting now can naturally draw from so many different styles or ways of depicting something. And in this show, I've, I've taken the heads which I've painted in a somewhat expressionistic gestural manner and surrounding these heads, there's this very automated, tightly controlled space of simulation that comes in conflict with it. This has something to do with the human experience trapped inside of this oppressive infrastructure of the digital world. Over the past few years, the space has come to have an illusionistic, almost 3D effect, which is created because each work is composed off a sculptural relief model, which I photograph. Before I digitally embed the Sims imagery into the model, I shift the screenshot a bit to be slightly askew. This causes a kind of doubling effect, so each body is now closely followed by an empty silhouette, almost like a ghost of itself. Painting during the lockdown in New York, I wanted to make a work that somehow documented my experience of the epidemic. I thought it made sense that a contemporary form of history painting might be composed through the soft filtered remove of memes and simulation game aesthetics. This almost passive aggressively coy softness that tech and game designers use to model human expression, it's almost evidence of their distance from the actual world. In this case, one struggling through enduring a tragedy, which the disembodied avatar is simply not equipped to handle and express itself through.